It almost doesn't feel real. It's been such a long wait that I don't even know what to say right now. It's it's delivery day. It's like delivery hour for the Ford GT after uh, all these years. Over three years since they unveiled it. It's been almost two years, maybe more than two years since I applied. Almost two years since I was given an allocation. And uh, well, here we are. I'm gonna get to see my car fully assembled for the first time. And uh, this is wild. Unfortunately, I don't get to drive the car today because I'm leaving it here to get wrapped to protect the paint. I feel like uh, protecting the paint job is a good call. So I'm gonna resist for a few more days and then I'll drive and we'll do a video on that. Lots of videos to come. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm getting on the thing. We're gonna raise up. It's gonna be a big deal. You've waited for this about as long as I have. All right, up we go. I'm gonna try to apply for a Ford GT. Ford is supposedly gonna start accepting applications for the new Ford GT this month. Maybe if you've been around for a little while, um, you've heard me mention a car called the Ford GT. There's no way I'm gonna get it, but, but I still wanted to try. And the first word is congratulations and it might be delivered in the next six months or so, which still seems far away, but over the whole scheme of things, it's been almost three years now since the car was unveiled. Six months is not that much longer to wait. black racing stripes, which the only other sort of similar color uh, GT I've seen, it was in a Riviera blue and it didn't have stripes. And I really, really like having the stripes on there. It sort of breaks up just the brightness of the blue. We're gonna take it in and then I'm gonna get like a, a walkthrough and learn how to actually use the thing. I Better than I could have envisioned it. So good. Making important reports <laughs> to the talk across the street. Oh, is it just parked right there? Oh, that works. Oh, in the museum, of course. Are you donating it already? Yep, that's <laughs> it. Still looks nice under the lights in here. All right, today we'll be reviewing the Ford All right, so I'll let you get Standard it. Edition. She's got these beautiful wing dippers here. The wind goes in and creates a cluster of electricity, shooting light back out at Adam's speed. We've got sourdough wheels. Right here. <laughs> These doors wing up. We actually broke them. They're supposed to do normal door action. <laughs> but lights actually are taken from the model of the Tron vehicles in the movie Tron. They're beautiful lights. They light up. No airbags because if you're crashing in this thing, you might as well be dead. Am I right? I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have a hard time putting groceries away if the wing is deployed. It, totally. Yeah. yeah. There's enough room for like a credit card and then maybe two toothpicks. <laughs> so beautiful entry for lots of luggage, a pair of underwear for the next day, maybe a t-shirt, maybe even some pants. You might be able to fit those in. Or you can just make sure you do everything alone and then fill up the passenger seat. And uh, those are your options, really. <laughs> All right. So inside here, we've got the um, uh, battery charger. Locking wheel up key. Your front license plate bracket. <laughs> yep. A nice little toolkit in here. 
So you want to keep that inside and it occupies half the space. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. So here's your little fancy Ford, the special funnel for the mm. capitalists in case okay. you're ever running out of fuel. Left hand thread, owner's manual, multi-purpose tool, tire re-inflation kit right here. The only time I would ever suggest using this is if you're in the Death Valley and you okay. have to get home. Otherwise stop, call a concierge, call Ladice. Okay. Somebody will say. Oh, so don't even call your insurance. Call you guys first? Yes. We're the okay. only ones that are going to have the ability to transport it. Yeah, that's gotcha. right. So underneath here we've got the washer fluid, you've got the hydraulic tank that runs the whole car, power distribution, brake fluid, front anti-roll bar, house stain rack, and then main valve block. You guys are really jammed in there. Yeah. Getting in for the first time. Okay, congratulations Jordan. Thank you. Congratulations, he's oh. finally here. Yeah, I'm never ever gonna let a valet touch this. Never. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it's pretty stiff. Right? So that gives you that. And then That's it's... I'm as far forward as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Uber is here. <laughs> That'd be a fun video. Yeah, yeah. Uber this. <laughs> there you go. That'd be dope. That's actually uh, actually not the worst Uber. idea. What tier of Uber? They have to make a new tier. Yeah. Uber, Uber super. super. Uber, super. <laughs> That's it, man. You ready? I think I'm ready. All right. Here you go. GT. And now you get to take it because you're wrapping the car. <laughs> it's back. All right. <laughs> the exciting hand off. That's it. There we go. <laughs> well, that that's pretty much it. I've gotten the tutorial. I'm sure I'm gonna forget a lot of things. There, there are some complex things I need to remember if the battery ever dies on me. So I'm just gonna hope that the battery never dies on me. Otherwise I have to like go and put the key in and unlock the back and then go in the back and pull the door open, go in the door, pull a latch to unlock the front, then jump it in the front. And then I have to like, I guess I'll be able to put it in neutral normally from there. But if it's ever just not going at all, I have to like, turn a crank to put it into neutral, hold it there as the car is being pushed by other people or winched onto the tow truck. And so uh, I just don't want that to happen. Anyway, can I just say again, because I haven't said it enough, how happy I am with the color. And look, I know there are gonna be some people who are like, oh, you should have gone with the liquid red. I am, ab I have no regrets whatsoever. This was 100% the right choice. I will say, and it probably sounds like something anyone would say when talking about a car, it, the, it doesn't show its true colors on camera. Don't you think, Nick? Like, no, no. In person, it looks just far better. It really does. But, you know, I don't, I don't think it looks too bad on camera. Just, ugh, I just wanna like, just wanna stand around and look at it for a few days. Now, the bummer is, <laughs> I'm leaving it here. I, I'm not driving it. I'm getting it wrapped. So in about three days or so, it should be good to drive. This weekend um, should be the first time actually going for it. All right, I will admit, uh, I couldn't resist. I took it for a spin around the block. I didn't do anything too crazy because again, the break-in period and all that, it was fun though. I'm really impressed actually with how, you know, nice and smooth it is at low speeds, which is not what you want to hear about, but for, you know, everyday use, it's great. Dude, the seats are so comfortable. It's amazing actually. It's like way more comfortable than the Mercedes and that's just like a daily driver kind of car. Um, so like super impressed with that. V6, no issues with the noise there whatsoever. Sounds exciting. You hear like the turbo whistles and stuff and it's just it's incredible. And I haven't even given it the beans yet. So, man, so stoked. Look at that. Serial number 43 for the 2018 year. That's what the J stands for right there. Yeah, the infotainment, all that. Right now it's in race mode. That's why it's all low and the wings are deployed outside. Look, the rear view mirror is like just this teeny little piece of glass. No electronics, no nothing like that. It does have the flip up for like dimming and all that. 
you can kind of get a, a look. There's some visibility back there. I'm not sure if the mic lets it get high enough. I love the Alcantara though. I think the interior was definitely the right choice, even though it doesn't have the exposed carbon fiber sills over here. I like it. Like I'd be worried about scratching it um, by sitting down on pants that have like a, a rivet on them or something like that. This way you don't have to worry about that. And it's just, it's way more racy with the Alcantara all over the place than it is with the, uh, the leather. So super stoked with the interior choice. And uh, it's $30,000 cheaper, so uh, you know, why not? <laughs> yeah, so that's it for the interior tour. So fun. So I, I can't wait to actually drive it. It's gonna be amazing. Still taking it a little easy. I was told don't bring it over about 5,000 RPM during the break-in period and uh, just don't thrash it. And then after 600 miles, we'll take it in for an oil change um, and then I can really gun it but we'll do like a first drive first impressions when i actually do go out for a drive and um we'll leave it off there a truly incredible surreal experience uh thank you ford for the opportunity and thank you guys because obviously without the whole youtube thing i don't think they would have been as interested in giving me an allocation so thank you for watching uh thanks again ford pretty incredible and we'll sign off there for this video. Catch you later.